Welcome back. The travel and hospitality industries have, for the most part, shut down due to COVID-19. But as Fox 44's Brian Glenn found out, experts are seeing a few signs of hope that travelers will soon be back in 2021. Without a doubt, the travel industry has been hit hard with this COVID-19 virus, essentially, essentially making a travel destinations a virtual ghost town. But there are signs that that could be changing. Some cruise analysts say that bookings are up 9% from this time last year. So what does that mean? We're going to bring in our travel expert, Catherine Banks of Legacy Traveler, to talk about this and more. Are we all just ready to get out of our house and go travel come at the end of the year and perhaps in 2021? Yes, I think absolutely. Everybody is stir crazy. And uh, I know for myself, my dream night before last was about my favorite Mexican resort. People are yes. chomping at the bit to get out of town. Okay, obviously places like Vegas and New York, it's a ghost town. No one is there. How long will it take for the American consumer to get out and go see these places that we love. Are, are travelers less, will they, will they forget about the, the virus and staying at home and they'll just continue with their, with their life? I think it's gonna be in waves. I think that people that are true travelers, like myself, like you, we're gonna be dying to get out and it, we're feeling confident and it's fine. And then there's gonna be another wave of people who maybe travel sometimes but it isn't really just in their dna and they're a little bit more willing to be afraid and um it'll take them longer to get out because they'll have in their memory just all this media of about the virus and everything but so i think it'll be in waves but there will definitely be a big part of the population that is chomping at the bit to go as soon as we get the all clear in your industry what has the last month or so meant to you what, what's been going on Oh, it's, uh, it's just insane. Um, we, we personally, we went from our highest month in our 30 year history in January to now we are canceling everything. Um, certainly everyone in uh, the last half of March, nobody traveled. Uh, April, certainly nobody's traveling. Getting certainly most, most people are canceling for May. Um, and some people are even canceling things for like June and July. Now those are the people that tend to be a little more nervous. Um, there's currently, for most suppliers, not any waivers in place for, you know, after May 31st. Of course, stay tuned. That could certainly um, change. But, uh, yeah, our days right now are spent trying to either rebook things or cancel things, um, navigate the rapidly changing policies as far as refunds, uh, future travel credits, trying to help people understand what their options are. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's quite intense right now. Well, we certainly appreciate your time. We hope that the travel industry bounces back like every other industry in this country. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you.